my friends and welcome to my channel. This is take three. Alright, today I have a tag video for you. This was started by Claire Gray and I was tagged by Jody. So I will have links for Jody and Claire down in the comment section. We're going to hop on into it. I'm going to work really hard on trying not to keep this, letting me get too carried away and making it too long. The best part about being a nail polish YouTuber, it's the people you meet. Whether they're people you meet that have their own channels, whether they're subscribers, I hate that word, friends, that reply all the time and leave you comments, to me that's the best. I'm, I'm amazed. I have friends in England and Canada and Germany and just all over the place. Australia, I love it. I, I just, my world just opened up. I have friends everywhere and I love, love that. I love being able to talk to you you about nail polish. I don't have anybody in my real world that loves nail polish the way we all love nail polish. So, the worst part about being a nail polish YouTuber, it's the time to edit. It's the time to add music on the background. It's, you know, doing your title, your credits, your gobbledygook in between. It's, that's the only, that's the only part of it that is annoying. Um, and if I could get better at filming, I wouldn't have to edit so much. So, we'll work on that. <laughs> what are your favorite videos to film? My favorite videos to film, hands down, all the time, is nail art videos and collabs. Those are the two. I've got two. I like doing nail art and I like doing collabs. Um, you know, it's my thing. I really wanted my channel to only be nail art, but we are morphing and doing other stuff, so um, we'll talk about that later. Um, a new n nail polish YouTube channel that you enjoy watching. I have four, and I'm going to quickly go through them. I will leave links to them down below. You need to go check these people out. I'm not going to go into a whole bunch, because like I said, I, I'll have a 30-minute video if I don't watch out. Um, number one is Angel Heavenly Nails. Freehand goddess. She is just so good. Number two, I've got four, remember. Number two is Manny on a Budget. She will show you how to have beautiful nails without busting the bank wide open, without having to rob the child's piggy banks. You, you, you need to go check her out. Jen is awesome. And number three is Miss Deborah Vaughn, Sister Chick. Love, 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 love Deborah. She's just one of the most... <laughs> Number one, she's just very entertaining. <laughs> I love listening to her. And she's just sweet. I mean, just amazing sweet. She can teach you a lot about formulas on nail polishes and what's out there, what's good, what's bad, and what you do not need to waste your money on. So definitely check out Deborah. And then the last one I have, I just started really watching in the past few weeks. I've seen her out and about leaving comments and and stuff, but Galene, she is absolutely hilarious. I, I just feel a connection with her. I feel a connection with so many of you, but I, there's something going on there. So anyway, you need to go check out Angel, Galene, Deborah, and Jen over at Manny on a Budget. Check them out. I'll have links. So, number five. By the way, I'm cheating. I have paper. I don't have mine on my cell phone because I don't have the fancy cell phone. I have an old lady's phone. <laughs> Um, what do your friends and family think of you being a nail polish YouTuber? Everybody's been very supportive. My husband's very supportive. Of course, I have to do voiceovers because he can't be quiet. He's loud. And that door back there is our bedroom door. I'm in the living room, so I do voiceovers. Um, he's very supportive. He's always giving me ideas and suggestions. And anywhere we go, he's like, you got to go check out our channel, you know, <laughs> so. That's really sweet. My father is constantly telling people to check out my channel. And the biggest thing is they all listen to me talk nail polish and what's going on and what I'm going to do. So I've got a lot of love from my friends and family about YouTube. And that's that helps <laughs> a lot. Um, number six. We've made it to number six. A memorable comment on your channel. I don't have one specific one, but I always get a kick out of when people comment on my accent. 
because like I've told most of them, and, and you've probably heard, I, I didn't know I had an accent. <laughs> I didn't. I thought that, you know, everybody talked like this. No, I really, I thought I had an accent, but I didn't realize how thick it was until people started commenting. And I'm glad it's received well, and people don't think I'm just a complete hick. I was well-schooled, you know, I'm a functioning adult, you know. Um, not everybody from the South marries their cousins, and, you know, so some of us, we just talk funny. That's it. But see, to me, it's not funny because everybody here talks like that. So, next, let's go on to number seven because I'm making it long again. Um, what are your plans for your channel? I plan on letting it just roll. I'm going to do nail art. I'm going to do tags. I'm going to do collabs. Um, we may venture into a little bit of hauling. I, I'm trying not to. Um, I like doing my one unboxing a month, and I think that, that would would suffice. And then number eight, what's on your nails today? That would be Color Club Miss Bliss and some little blue dragonflies. That was an easy one. A brand that's impressing you right now, Square Hue. Uh, you know, I, I don't get paid by Square Hue. I don't get free boxes from them. I don't, I pay for them and I love them. I, I think for the price that they are, they're excellent polishes. Um, and then Simple Colors, are you kidding? <laughs> Simple Colors has, for the past couple of years, has just been knocking it out of the ballpark. I mean, they've got great formulas. They've got all kinds of colors, textures, glitters. I mean, anything you could want. Creams. They've got just amazing polishes, and they're not expensive. You can walk up in the store and buy them. So, that's mine. And what do you think of your current collection as a whole? It's on steroids. It's ridiculous. I have polish everywhere. One of these days when my oldest son moves out, I'm taking over his room, and I will have a mani cave. And then I will show you all what I'm talking about. I can't get rid of anything hardly. I have done a declutter before, a de-stash, and I sent a young lady a bunch of polishes because she wanted polishes, and I had some, so I sent them to her. But um, I, I just I keep everything because I don't know what's going to water marble or what's going to stamp or, you know, and so with that I might have five of the same color with different brands, but like I've told my husband, this one might water marble really well and this one might stamp really well and this one might just go on as a base really well, so that's why we do it that way. Maybe one day I will. I've been really inspired by Claire and Kenny and some of the others that have done the de-stashing. And, and I might get there one day. Maybe when I get my room and I realize how ridiculous it really is, <laughs> then I might do that. I love my collection. My nail polish is my hobby, my habit, my everything. So, I, I'm <laughs> I love it. And I just added to it. So we're, we're fixing to do a video on that maybe. So that is the 10 questions. And I'm going to tag everyone. If you have not been tagged by somebody, I'm tagging you. Yes, you. You. <laughs> and you over there. Don't hide behind her. I'm talking to you. I would love to see everybody do this. This was a great tag. And I really enjoyed doing it. I thank you for coming and watching. And listening to me ramble. I'm, I hope I didn't make this too long. If I did, I might have to re-record it. Do the condensed version. So, anyhow, <laughs> I appreciate you watching. And that is all I have today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.